Good afternoon, everyone. And I think we're not afraid. I think we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. And we just want to increase vessel awareness, and we're going to encounter patients with inborn errors of immunity with late onset, whether it be in adults or it be in adults. As we all know that the inborn errors of immunity are introduced through some disorders due to an uh, error or uh, dysfunction of the immune system. Uh, mostly, most of them are genetically driven, or most of them are diagnosed in the childhood. Uh, however, some of the patients are diagnosed in adulthood. Uh, there is lack of awareness preventing the childhood diagnosis or due to a delayed onset. The majority of the adult onset in born areas of immunity patients are deemed to have polygenic etiology, but recently, due to the increased use of the next generation sequencing technology, we a genetic diagnosis, there is an increased number of monogenic cases. And identified mutations in adults are usually of no penetrance, germline mutations, or somatic mutations. In some cases, a phenotype is apparent only after the patient encounters a specific environmental trigger whether radiation, a viral infection, or mycobacterial infection. Uh, in Moshkeda, in the physicians treating adults, um, and the adults are often seen by different specialities, and no one recognizes this as a one disease, and it's an inborn error of immunity, there is an underlying genetic problem. Like, and patients that have been shown from the adolescents, and I'm often shown patients 14 years old, and 18 years old, or upper, and upper, I am shown like 60 years old, we are in the presentation of the regard infections that have been very common in sciences with otitis or sinus pulmonary infection, which go missed big tier get them. Like, how do we know we can exclude this be an age that what in our mind is predisposing factor? It's not an allergy or asthma or anatomical problem secondary to a post-operative problem. Yani, will a ham in that exclude? Secondary calls. If patients that want to be banned to hematological malignancy or under secondary immune deficiency, patients get it out of the immune system for pressure therapy, and this is the main problem. They're getting the infections. Monk can be banned to urinary protein loss. Monk can be at the state of hypercatabolism during one severe infection, but this is a secondary immune deficiency. Monk can be at the hypersensitivity. Now we have to exclude the secondary calls before referral to to an immunologist. Like, the idea is specific clues for the other inborn errors of immunity. Yes, family history is very important of immune deficiency, out of recurrent infections, out of autoimmune uh, problems. And autoimmune disorders are very important. Uh, autoimmune cytopenia is the out of hematology, which is cytopenia, which is refractory to treatment. Uh, autoimmune thyroiditis and autoimmune enteropathy. This should ring a bell. A lymphadenopathy with spinomegaly is chronic, which is not explained. The bottom in a common finding should raise its suspicion, and it's very common with patients with inborn errors of immunity. Also, granulosis lesions, which is misdiagnosed in most of the cases as sarcoidosis. Like, there is a, a time of onset with other inborn errors of immunity. Tabati, a categorist, the Donna, the classification of the International Union of Immunological Society. The Haggad Ketir Awi will present very early the severe combined immune deficiency, and others reported not him to have an adult since or adult uh, onset. Uh, they a combined immune deficiency. Both the both effects in cellular with memorial immunity. Usually they present in the first decade the ADA with RTE for vitamin D deficiency. And later onset, one can fill antibody deficiencies, they in BTK, when Oma recently reported the APDS with NF-B, a disease of immune dysregulation, the Haggai to the Haya, and when you present the patch in H, they in Moon 13 will ex-link it lymphocolactic disorder type 1 and 2, the CDID, the CTLA4, we and LRPA deficiency, coming in the effects of an intrinsic innate immunity. The Mendelian susceptibility of mycobacterial disorders with stat 1 deficiency, as well as an auto inflammatory with complement deficiencies. Full of diseases, we can uh, see the patients with a very late onset out of other onset. Like, in mechanism of the other onset in more errors of immunity. Mostly in mutations in reported at the stage with a hypermorphic mutation. I do have the mutation, or well, I have just a partial loss of the protein function, or that is because the presentation usually 
at a later age. Hagatanian somatic mutations. Uh, in epigenetics, we environmental exposure plays a very important role with that in promoting wound and mandinal mutations, be but in some persons, the disease manifests, to other persons, they're normal. Yeah. Like patients with yeah. BCG, the patients with you know, microbacterial infection, with the patients with you know, Haiga. Environmental exposures, like often in radiations, and viral pathogens, with Zeta virus, so it's virus, with varicella, and microbacterial uh, disease. Like, how do patients go to open you for transplant with the only be diagnosed in other patients with inborn errors of immunity? Yes, and this is highly feasible and curative. In Moshkila, in, there is a very limited data on the outcome with complications of the stem cell transplant in others. With, there is insufficient data to mean a patient with a transplant to a lack of data before morbidities, say in from cactuses, where a patient has a anectomy or anti Moshkila, prior to transplant. Um, okay. uh, this is a recent paper, Dillard's Forward. Um, Reporting up to 300 patients, adults with inborn errors of immunity, received allogenic stem cell transplant from multi centers. And they reported in, in survival exceeded 70% five years post transplant in an incidence of GBHD, GAP versus heart disease, can very acceptable. Most of the patients received matched unrelated donors. Commanded incidence of GAP failure was less than 10%. Kamen, Yan Mohalao, in Mokin, in certain prognostic indicators, they must have in presence of bronchiectasis, alcipinectomy, aromatic dysfunction, Mokin have associated with inferior income, uh, uh, sorry, inferior outcome. However, a conclusion suggests in, in the patient's door should be referred early to consider a transplant before the end organ damage from the inborn errors of immunity. Uh, it's a very difficult decision whether in Moken patients you advise to then diagnose hunger symptoms, then you will take a decision to transplant or what will totally help you, whether you will wait and see how the mass of complications and in more areas of immunity when that is a last resort to the health. But it's a very good experience, good center uh, to decide the tamanism in patients you will include in the decision to get a transplant because they can age their own. Like our take home message, we just want to increase the awareness that the inborn errors of immunity could be of a late onset, could be uh, presenting in uh, adolescence with other two. The mechanism of a late onset disease are not well understood, but mostly in mutations is either hypermorphic or somatic mutations. Environmental exposure and epigenetics are likely the main contributors. And physicians should uh, be aware of the patients if presenting with infections, also uh, inflammatory disorders, lymphoproliferation, which is unexplained. Uh, this should uh, raise the suspicion of an underlying immune problem. Should be referred for immunological assessment and definitely for genetic sequencing. Technically, we are highlighting this in the molecular diagnosis mobility in patients' management. There's a lot of targeted therapy in Iwati, uh, interferonopathies, smoking jack inhibitors, anti TNFs, and ADA2, and then CTLA4, well, LRB8 deficiency, and then CTLA4 agonist, it has been available. Half a month is the choice of immune suppression, an anti patient with autoimmune lymphoproliferative syndrome, and if you have the choice of immune suppressive drugs, as some sterolomus or rapid use, but the immune suppression is failing. The three drugs, Ongoing with data targetedly in certain diseases, but the bone marrow transplant would be considered in these patients. Thank you.